Nature and the Environment Unit 1. A Picnic by the River This is a good spot. Let's stop and have our picnic next to the river. Good idea. Walking always makes me hungry. I'm ready for lunch. We can sit here on the grass. Oh no! Someone forgot to throw these empty paper bags away. There is litter everywhere. Why do people always leave litter around? It's not a nice thing to do. It spoils other people's picnics. I think they are lazy, or maybe they just don't care. Look, there are some empty cans and glass bottles under that tree, too. People should clean up before they leave and not leave litter lying around. That's right. Well, after our picnic, let's pick up all the litter we can and take it out of here. Okay. And next week, let's come back with friends and pick up some more. Good idea! Unit 2. Let's recycle. Hi, Jane. Have you heard about the new laws to help people recycle? I heard about them on the news last night. I don't think I like them. The government wants to keep the environment clean by recycling paper, metal, and glass instead of throwing these things away. But who wants to pay an extra 50 cents each time you buy a cup of coffee? That's a lot of money. 50 cents? It's only 5 cents extra for a paper cup. I thought it was 50 cents. No, it's only 5 cents. Don't worry, and you can get your money back when you return the cup. That's fair. Well, maybe the government is right after all. I'll return all the paper coffee cups I use from now on. Good. We all need to recycle. It helps to keep the environment clean. Unit 3. Growing Roses Excuse me, ma'am. I have a problem with my rose bush. It used to produce a lot of pink roses, but now it doesn't produce any flowers at all. I see. That does seem like a problem. Do the leaves on the plant look healthy? Not really. The leaves used to be very green. Now most of them have turned brown. Well, I think your rose bush needs some fertilizer. Okay. What sort of fertilizer do you think I should use? This liquid fertilizer is very good. It will help make your rose leaves green again. Then the plant should produce roses quite soon. The fertilizer costs about $10. How long will it take for my rose bush to recover? About two weeks, I think. Great! I'll take it. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Unit 4. Bird Watching I want to go bird watching tomorrow. Do you know a good area for birds? There is a quiet park near here. There are always many beautiful birds there. Will I be able to see different types of birds in this area? Yes, I think so. If you use binoculars, you can see the birds even if they are far away. Great! I have a book about all the different types of birds. It seems as if you really like bird watching. Yes, I do. Would you like to come with me tomorrow? No, thank you. I think bird watching is boring. That's not true. Birds are very interesting. Some birds have colorful feathers. Some birds sing beautiful songs. Some birds make special nests to lay eggs in. Really? Maybe I will go bird watching one day after all. Unit 5 Trees in the Forest There are many forests in North America. There are many trees in these forests. Some of these trees are more than 200 feet tall. Some are over 500 years old. Several kinds of trees grow in these forests. Fir, cedar, and pine are three. These trees grow in different areas. Some grow in forests. Some grow on the mountains. People who lived in this place long ago used these trees to make things out of wood. Many of these trees are now in special areas. 
These areas are called forest reserves or national parks. Some parks charge a small entrance fee. Visitors must pay the fee to enter the parks. Then they can walk among the beautiful old trees. They must take care not to damage the trees. We should all take care of forests. Science and Technology Unit 6 An Easy Way to Shop Hey, Steve. Look at my new MP3 player. Wow, it looks cool. Where did you buy it? I bought it online at an electronics website. I'm not very good at using a computer. Is it hard to buy things online? It's really easy. All you do is go to the website and choose the item you want to look at. There are so many items to choose from on the website. After you choose what you want to buy, you click on the checkout button. That does seem easy. Yes, it is. It only takes about a week for your item to come. Of course, if you are in a hurry, you can pay more to get it sent faster. Do you pay for the item when it comes? No, you have to pay for it online with a credit card. Unit 7. Cell Phone Messages I need to check my messages. How are you going to do that? We are in the middle of the freeway. I'm going to use my cell phone. Haven't you ever done that? No, I just use my cell phone to talk to other people. Now you can also use a cell phone to send and receive short text messages. It's very useful. How do you send a message that way? I just use the keys on the phone to type a short message. Then I press the send button. It's cheaper than making a phone call. That's a great idea. You can save both time and money that way. Right. All my friends usually send me text messages now. Thanks for telling me about this. I'll have to try it. You're welcome. I think you'll find it useful. Unit 8. Bubbles in Boiling Water Where do the bubbles come from when you boil water? Water is a liquid. When it is heated, it moves around faster and faster. When it starts to boil, the liquid turns into a gas. This gas is called water vapor. This gas is lighter than the water around it. It rises to the top. Then it disappears into the air. As the water gets hotter and hotter, it starts turning into gas very quickly. A lot of bubbles form at the same time. All these bubbles try to escape at once. The bubbles push the water out of the way and jump out. This is what we call boiling water. More and more water turns into gas. More of it disappears into the air. After a while, every drop of the water will be gone. Try it and see. Unit 9. The Blue Sky Joe asked me something about science just now. But I didn't know the answer. I'm good at science. Ask me. OK. Why is the sky blue? I'll explain it in a simple way. Light comes through the air from the sun in waves. The light is in many colors, right? Right. Blue light waves are smaller than air molecules. They sometimes get absorbed by these molecules. OK. What happens then? Then the blue light waves scatter in many directions. Your eyes see this blue light from above you after it leaves the air molecules. So that is what makes the sky blue. What happens to the other colors? They reflect off the things that they hit. Your shirt is red because our eyes see the red light reflected from it. Now I understand why the sky is blue. Unit 10. A new camera. I just bought a digital camera. What is wrong with your old camera? Nothing. 
I bought this one because I want to store my pictures on my computer. I see. I can also delete pictures that are not very good. I don't have to print them. I like to print all my photos. That's why I like the old cameras. Oh, you can print digital photos too. Many shops will print them for you. Really? Yes. You can even buy a good printer and do it from home. That seems easy. How do you store these digital pictures? You can store the pictures on your computer, but you might run out of space. I save all the pictures I like on compact discs. You can store more than 700 photos on one CD. Great! Maybe I should get a digital camera too. Art and Culture Unit 11 Gold Gold has been a part of many cultures for hundreds of years. People made coins and jewelry with gold. Gold is a soft metal. It is easy to shape into sheets, long wires, or rings. People sometimes mix gold with other metals. This makes the gold harder. Then it can be made into beautiful jewelry. Why do we value gold so much? It has a special color. No other metal is a bright yellow. We also value gold because it is rare. A rare thing is hard to find. Even after hundreds of years, gold is still a precious metal now. It is still valued for its beauty. It is still rare. Today, banks store gold in the form of bars. Its value is more than $600 per ounce. Gold is more useful now than ever before. Unit 12 The Summer Music Festival Have you heard about the music festival next summer? I read that it is going to have about 20 different bands playing in it. I think I did hear someone talking about it. Are you planning on going? I'll go if I can get tickets. I heard that people are going to line up overnight to get tickets. I might line up overnight too. I don't think I want to line up all night long. Well, I'm going to do it. I think it is going to be a great music festival that I won't want to miss. Maybe. Do you know how much the tickets are going to cost? I'm not sure, but I think each ticket will be about $75. That's a lot of money. I don't think I want to spend that much on a ticket. Good luck anyway. Unit 13 The School Play Are you going to the school play on Saturday night? The school play? I didn't know there was going to be a play on Saturday night. Yes, I heard about it in English class yesterday. I think it will be really good. Who told you about it? Ms. Martin, our English teacher, told us all about it. This is the drama club's first play of the year. What is the play about? I hope it's nothing boring. Can you guess what it is? Oh, come on. Tell me, please. It's The Sound of Music. Really? I watched The Sound of Music on TV last month. It's very good. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's what Ms. Martin said. Would you like to watch the play with me on Saturday night? That would be great. Let's go early so we get good seats. Unit 14 Ballet Class Hi, Cindy. Where are you going? Good afternoon, Mrs. White. I'm going to ballet class. Ballet class? I didn't know you were studying ballet. How long have you been studying ballet? Today is my first day, and I don't want to go. My mom and dad want me to learn ballet. I'm not sure I want to learn how to dance. I used to learn ballet too when I was your age. Now I teach ballet in a dance school. Oh, I didn't know that. Where do you teach your classes? Down the street at Easy Steps Dance Academy. Ballet is fun to learn, and it's a very graceful dance.
You'll need to learn the steps and practice a lot, of course. But I think you'll enjoy it. I hope so. Well, go and have some fun dancing. Unit 15. Monet's Garden Claude Monet was a great artist. He was the first of a group of artists called the Impressionists. This group of artists thought about how things in the world made them feel. They tried to show this in their work. This way of painting shows how light can change shapes and colors. Monet did a lot of his work outdoors. He wanted to show how daylight made things look. Many of his paintings are of gardens. He liked to paint flowers and trees. He loved to paint in his own garden. His garden was in a village. He lived there for many years. Today, many visitors come each year to this garden. They come from all over the world. Most of them are art lovers or artists. They come to see the place that Monet loved so much. Leisure and Entertainment Unit 16. A Haunted House Oh no, it's raining! I wanted to go to the beach today. Well, I'm visiting a haunted house this afternoon. You can come with me if you like. A haunted house? What is it like? It's really dark, with lots of old furniture and pictures on the walls. It's called a haunted house because it's full of ghosts. You're joking, right? I don't believe in ghosts. Where is the haunted house? The house is in the old forest. Oh, are you really sure you want to go? What's wrong? I thought you didn't believe in ghosts. Well, I don't really believe in ghosts, but... That's okay. I don't believe in ghosts either. I was only joking. The old house isn't really haunted. It's just a very old, empty house. Phew, I'm glad to hear that. Sure, I'll come with you. Unit 17. A Big Screen TV I'm thinking about buying a big screen TV. Wow, I've seen those in the store. They cost a lot of money. Can you afford to buy one? They do cost a lot of money, but I really enjoy watching TV. I think it's much more fun to watch TV shows on a big screen. I've never watched TV on a big screen. Do you think the quality of the picture is good? Yes, the quality is great. When you watch soccer games, you feel like you are right there on the field. When you buy the TV, can I come over to your house? Then I can enjoy watching TV on the big screen with you. I have to save some money to buy the TV first. It will be a few months before I can afford to buy it. Unit 18. He's famous. Are you going to the new Tim Cross movie tonight? I don't know. It looks kind of boring. Really? I think it looks quite interesting. Besides, Tim Cross is a famous actor. He may be famous, but I don't think he's a very good actor. He always acts in the same sort of movie. He never does anything different. Well, at least you think he's good-looking, right? No, not really. He always looks so sleepy. But most girls think he's handsome. Maybe that's why he is so famous. None of my friends think he is good-looking at all. I used to like him a few years ago, but now I think he's not handsome at all. Hey, I just got a haircut to try to look more like him. Well, that explains why I don't like your new haircut. Unit 19. A Housewarming Party Hi, Steve. Thanks for coming to my housewarming party. Hello, Sue. Thanks for inviting me to see your lovely new home. It's beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. 
Did you decorate your house all by yourself? Yes, I did. I traveled around Europe last year. I got some beautiful furniture for my house there. Do you plan to go on a new trip this summer? Yes, I am planning to visit China. That's great. How long will you be there? I will be there for a month. You can find some beautiful things in China for your new house. You should go shopping while you are there. Of course, it will be fun to go shopping there. By the way, please help yourself to the refreshments. Thanks. The food looks delicious. Unit twenty, making music. Do you like to listen to music? Music is made up of sound. People all over the world like music. People have liked it for hundreds of years. People who write music are called composers. Most of the time, a composer does not sing or play his own music. He writes it all down in the form of notes. Those who know how to read music can understand these notes. This is how people can sing the song or play it. Lots of people like to play music. Music can be played on instruments. There are many types of musical instruments. Some of these are the piano, the violin, and the drum. People can make music as a group. A choir is a group of people who sing. An orchestra is a group of people who play musical instruments. School and family. Unit twenty one. Where is your homework? Did you finish your homework for English class? Homework? There wasn't any homework. We had to finish reading a book and then write a two hundred word essay on it. I don't think Miss Jones gave us any homework. I always write what I have to do in my notebook. Did she really tell us to write an essay? Yes. Look, here's my essay. See? Oh no! What am I going to do? We've only got ten minutes before class starts. I don't know. Maybe Miss Jones will let you hand it in tomorrow. Hey, let me copy your essay. I'll change a few words. Miss Jones will never know. No, I'm sorry. That's not the right thing to do. Oh come on! I thought you were my friend. I am your friend. That's why I'm not letting you copy my work. Unit twenty two, after school activities. Will you play any sports this school year? I want to play hockey, but I'm not sure if I will have enough time. I'm on the school soccer team. I'm also going to take up swimming. You're going to be on the soccer team and swim too. Yeah. That seems like a lot. You will be very busy. Do you think you will have any free time? I will play soccer with my school team during the week. I will go swimming during the weekend. When will you have time to do your homework? And when will you study? I do my homework after school every day. I study every weekend. My mother won't let me play sports until I have done all my work. Well, I hope you find enough time for both schoolwork and sports. Good luck. Unit twenty three, arts and crafts class. Hi, mom. I'm back from arts and crafts class. Look at what I'm wearing. Well, you're wearing a blue T-shirt and jeans. Sure. But what else am I wearing? Oh, those earrings are very pretty. Is that what you're learning to make this week in arts and crafts class? Yes, we're learning to make jewelry from beads this week. The beads come in different colors and shapes. First, we decide what sort of jewelry we want to make. Then, we choose the beads we want and string them on transparent plastic wire. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Tom made a bead necklace for his sister, and I made some earrings. Guess what, Bob? 
I made a pair of earrings for you too. Oh, these are very pretty. Thank you very much. Next week, I'm going to make a necklace. Unit 24 Grandfather's Birthday. Hi, Mom. Guess what? We got our English test back today. I got the highest score in my class. Oh, Billy, I'm glad you did so well. You worked hard for that test. Thanks, Mom. I'm hungry. What's for dinner? We're going to your aunt's place for dinner tonight. It's your grandfather's birthday today, remember? Oh, no, I forgot. I haven't got a birthday gift for Grandpa. Don't worry. I bought a gift for him yesterday from the three of us. Anyway, your English test score is a good gift for your grandfather. The whole family will be at the party tonight. All your aunts, uncles, and cousins are coming. I haven't seen the whole family in a long time. Well, you'll see them tonight. Now hurry up and get ready. Okay. When are we leaving? When your father gets home from work. Unit 25. The Lesson There was once a man who lived with his two sons. The two sons were always fighting with each other. One day, the man decided to teach his sons a lesson. The man gave his younger son two large sticks. He told the boy to break them. The boy tried hard, but he could not break the sticks. The older son also could not break the sticks. At last, the man gave only one stick to each son. He said, break them. Each son broke his stick easily. The man said, you are like these sticks. If you work together, no one can break you. But if you fight with each other all the time, one day, someone will break both of you. After that lesson, the sons stopped fighting. They started to work together. People and Work Unit 26 A Problem at the Office I had a big problem at the office today. What happened? I could not use my computer all day. Was it because of a virus? Yes, I opened a file that had a virus. Oh, no! You must be careful when you open files in your email. A virus can make your whole computer crash. It was an accident. I didn't know the file had a virus. I'll be more careful next time. What did you do next? I asked a computer repairman to come to the office. He worked all day to repair my computer. But the real problem is that I may have lost some of my work. Don't worry. Your work is probably still on your computer. I can help you get it back. Next time, make sure you have backup files, just in case it happens again. Unit 27. My Future Job what do you want to be when you grow up, Mark? I want to be a teacher. I think I would like to help children learn. Well, you know, teachers work very hard, and they are not paid much money. I don't care about money. Teaching is an important job. What subject do you want to teach? I want to teach mathematics, like Ms. Kim. She makes learning fun. I didn't know that I would like math so much until I joined her class. Now, mathematics is my favorite subject. If you want to teach math, you'll have to work hard and learn it well. No problem. I got an A on the mathematics examination last week. With good teachers like Ms. Kim, learning is easy. I want to be a teacher too, but I want to teach English. Not math. Unit 28. Shopping. We are having a summer sale. Everything is 50% off the normal price. Really? Everything? Yes, everything is on sale. 
including sunglasses, hats, and bags. All the summer clothes are on sale too. I do need some new sunglasses. I lost mine when I went to the beach this summer. Oh, these are really nice. What is the price of these? There is no price tag on them. Well, sir, there's no price tag on those sunglasses because they are mine. Really? I would like to get a pair of sunglasses just like these. Where did you get them? Actually, I got them for $15 at Super Glasses. There is a Super Glasses store in this mall, isn't there? Yes, but let me show you the sunglasses we have on sale. No, thanks. I think I'll just go to Super Glasses. Unit 29 A Part Time Job. I want to find a part time job. Do you have any ideas about where I should look for work? Have you looked in the newspaper? There are lots of job advertisements in the newspaper. Yes, I have. But there were no jobs I was interested in. Did you search on the internet? Many companies put job advertisements on the internet. No, I haven't looked on the internet. I don't know what I should search for. There are many websites that have job postings that you could look at. You could also search for the type of job you are interested in. Okay, thanks for telling me what I need to do. I'll start my internet search right now. I have a list of some websites. You could start looking at those first. That might save you some time. That would be very useful. Thanks. Unit 30 Teamwork When people work together as a team, they can achieve a lot. You can easily get things done when you share the work. We practice teamwork in my family. Both my parents have jobs. My father is a doctor. My mother is a teacher. Both of them work long hours all week. My brother is a student at college. I am a student in school. We all have very busy lives. So when it comes to household chores, we all work together to get them done. Each of us has different chores. My parents take turns to cook. My father takes out the trash. My mother does the laundry. My brother washes the dishes. I sweep the floor. We share the chores and work together. Everything gets done fast. People should practice working as a team. Teamwork works. Sports and Health Unit 31 The Marathon. Did you watch the Boston Marathon? Yes, I went to Boston to see it. You were in Boston for the marathon? That's right. My friend is a runner, so I went there to watch her run. We traveled to Boston together. You are so lucky. Which part of the marathon did you see? I watched the entire race, from start to finish. I don't know how the runners can finish the whole race. It's so long and difficult. I could never do something like that. I tried to run a marathon once. It was really difficult. I just can't run like my friend can. Yes, running a marathon is not an easy thing to do. By the way, how did your friend do in the race? She did quite well. She was not the fastest runner, but she was in the top 50. Unit 32 Racquetball Racquetball is a popular sport. It was first played in the U.S. This game started just a little more than 50 years ago. That makes it quite a new sport. Other racket sports like tennis and squash have been played for a long time. Racquetball rules are a mix of rules from both handball and squash. A short racket is used to play this game. This game became popular almost at once when it first came out. More and more people wanted to play it. Clubs began to build racquetball courts. 
They built these courts for players of this new sport. People of all ages can play this game. But most players today are young people. Most of them are between the ages of 12 and 34. Racquetball is now a famous sport. It is played all over the world. Unit 33. Summer Sports Hi, Alice. What have you been doing? You look tired. I stayed up late last night to watch the Olympics. We won a gold medal for men's basketball. We also won the silver medal for women's tennis. That's great. What about gymnastics? The men's team didn't do so well, but the women's team won the silver medal. I haven't had much time to watch, but I saw the opening ceremony. What have you been doing this summer? I've been playing baseball and taking swimming lessons. I like to watch baseball. Maybe I can come and watch your team play sometime. When do you usually play? We have a game this weekend. Why don't you come and watch us play in the park? Sure. Just let me know what time the game starts. See you later. Bye. Unit 34. Inline Skating Oh, my legs are so sore. Really? What did you do during the weekend? I went inline skating with my friends at the park. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. But it was also my first time, so it was really difficult. I was scared that I would fall down. After a short time, my muscles were really tired. Next time will be easier. You just need more practice. What about you? What did you do during the weekend? Actually, I also went inline skating. I go every weekend with my father. We usually skate about 20 kilometers each time. Wow! How can you skate so far? Your muscles must be really strong. I've been skating for three years now. You could skate that far too. You just need to build up your muscles. Let's go skating together next weekend. OK. Unit 35. The Olympics. The Olympic Games are a famous world sports event. These games are held once in four years. There are summer games and winter games. People come from countries all over the world to compete in the games. These games started a long time ago in Greece. In those days, only men took part in them. There were only a few sports events. Now, women take part in the Olympic Games, too. There are team sports, like basketball. There are martial arts, like judo. More and more types of sports are in the games each time they are held. It is very hard to win a medal at these games. Only world champions take part in the Olympics. Those who compete must work hard for years. Their bodies must be very fit. They must be the best to win medals in these games. Travel and Transport Unit 36. A Bicycle Trip I'm planning to go on a bicycle trip around Europe. Why do you want to go on a bicycle trip? It is an environmentally friendly way to travel. What do you have to do in order to go on a bicycle trip? Before the trip, I'll need to ride my bicycle a lot. That will make me fit and strong. I also need to get some equipment. What kind of equipment will you need? I need road maps of the countries I am going to visit. I also need strong bags to carry clothes and food. I need to carry all these things on my bicycle. Are you traveling with another person? Yes, I am going with a friend of mine. He likes bicycle trips. I wish I could go on a bicycle trip too. Well, don't get too many flat tires. Unit 37. 
Driving down south. Isn't it great that there aren't any classes on Monday? We have a three day weekend. That's right. Do you have any special plans? My family is taking a trip to Las Cruces. I'm really looking forward to it. Have you ever been there? No, but I've heard about it. Is it nice? Yes, there are so many things to see. The city is famous for its nuts. What kind of nuts? Pecans. There are many pecan trees growing in and around the city. I like pecans. How far away is Las Cruces from here? It only takes about four hours by car if you use the freeway and drive directly south. That certainly makes for an easy trip. When are you leaving? We're going on Saturday morning. We'll be back on Monday evening. Have a nice time. Bring me some pecans. Unit 38 The Travel Agent. I want to go on a trip to China. How long do you want to stay? Four or five days. We have a very good package tour that is for four days and three nights. Okay. What can you tell me about it? Well, you'll fly directly to Beijing. Your tour guide will meet you at the airport and take you to your hotel. Over the four days, you will do a lot of sightseeing. You will see many famous landmarks, like the Summer Palace, the Forbidden City, and the Great Wall of China. That sounds great. What sort of transport will we use to get from one place to another? You will take a bus with your tour group. Okay. Can I book this package tour now? There will be five of us going on this trip. Sure. Unit 39 Taking the Train. You're so lucky, Marion. You're leaving for Hawaii in five hours. I never travel because I hate flying in airplanes. I don't like buses either. That doesn't matter, Dean. There are other ways to get around. You should take the train somewhere. That's true. It's been a long time since I last traveled. I've always wanted to take a long train trip. What's stopping you? Go to the travel agent now and ask about train trips. What do you think the fares are like? I'm not sure what train fares are like now. I think it depends on your destination. That's a question you'll have to ask a travel agent. Can you suggest a good person to talk to? My travel agent is always very helpful. Here is his phone number. Thanks. I'll call him right now. Where's the phone? Unit 40. Go on a cruise. Are you sick of long road trips in a car? Do you find long trips in an airplane boring? Do you want to travel in a special way? You should take a cruise to all the places you would like to see. Go by cruise ship to the northeast part of the U.S. Go late in the year. Then you can enjoy the colors of the autumn leaves on the trees. It is a beautiful sight. Do you like to look at man made wonders? Go on a cruise to the Panama Canal. Do you want to see icebergs? Do you want to look at seals and whales? Go on a cruise to Alaska. Wherever you may choose to go, a cruise is a great way to travel. Book a trip on a cruise ship today. You will love it.